Ruth and Ken Altshuler established the Caviar Care Fund to ensure patients with limited financial resources would receive treatment for speech, language, and hearing disorders. The Altshulers have shown Dallas the true spirit of philanthropy, furthering valuable work to improve the lives of our neighbors. To honor Ruth and Ken's legacy, the Callier Center and the Foundation for the Callier and the Foundation for the Callier Center Board of Trustees created the Ruth and Ken Altshuler Callier Care Award. The award is given each year to an individual or group who has contributed significantly to the betterment of our community and to advancing the care of patients with communication disorders. It is a very special privilege for me to introduce this year's recipient, Brent Christopher. Brent is president of Children's Medical Center Foundation, which supports children's health, the leading pediatric healthcare system in North Texas. Previously, he was president and CEO of the Communities Foundation of Texas, where he first met Ruth Altshuler. Ruth was involved in CFT for many decades, and she was the first female chair. She was Brent's mentor, and they worked together along with the CFT board to create its philanthropic strategy. While at C CFT, Brent led its Impact for Good movement to improve the lives of North Texans and beyond. While the foundation's asset base grew from $647 million to $1.1 billion, in addition, CFT's total grant making crossed the $1 billion mark with a new strategic focus on education and low income working families. Under Brent's guidance, CFT launched the North Texas Giving Day, the nation's largest day of community wide giving, which has infused more than $240 million into the region since 2009 and inspired similar programs across the country. North Texas Giving Day has contributed to Callier Center's fundraising efforts, resulting in gifts of more than $400,000 that have benefited patients in need. <clears throat> Brent's support and involvement has also impacted philanthropy across the nation. He served as a National Strategy Committee member of the Alliance for Charitable Reform, which educates policymakers about the role of philanthropy in America and testified before Congress regarding the value of the charitable deduction. Throughout his career, Brent has worked with donors to align their interests to benefit those in need, impacting the lives of countless individuals and families in North Texas. Brent is a good friend and colleague for whom I have the utmost respect. We have done some wonderful and really important work together, and he has been an invaluable partner. Brent has truly led a life of service and I can think of no one more deserving of this award. We are delighted to have Dr. Ken Altshuler with us today, and Tom Campbell will, right here, Dr. Altshuler. <laughs> and Tom Campbell will come up to present the 2019 Ruth and Ken Altshuler Cal Your Care Award to Brent Christopher. Yeah, that's it, thank you. Thank you so much. Brent, uh, we can think of no other person more deserving. The things you've done for North Texas, the Callier Center, uh, very appreciative. Congratulations. Tom, thank you so much, and Linda, what a privilege. Several years ago at Communities Foundation of Texas, I called Ruth Altshuler and I said, Ruth, you know, we've got several portraits of various board chairs over the years hanging in the hallways at CFT, and as Linda told you today, Ruth was the first female board chair, so I said, you know, it's not right that we don't have your portrait up here too. We need to hang your portrait on the wall at CFT as well. And Ruth, of course, said that there was not any need to have her portrait painted, <clears throat> that she would absolutely never have the patience to sit still for that long. 
and that she was also afraid that the artist might paint her looking her current age, and she definitely was not interested in that. <laughs> but she offered that she really liked her junior league sustainer portrait that, that was hanging <laughs> at the league offices that had been done by Giddings back in the 1980s, and I should just get them to reproduce that for CFT. So, you know, had I seen that hanging on the wall at the league offices, she wondered. And I said, well, I can't really quite recall if I've seen that or not, but I'm slightly concerned that if it was taken back in the 1980s, you know, it might look a little dated or out of style. There was a long pause. <clears throat> then with a very clear voice, Ruth said, oh, Brand, I was wearing Chanel. Chanel is always in style. <laughs> So you can guess which portrait of Ruth Altshuler was hanging on the walls at CFT right after that, thanks to our good friends at Giddings. So I tell that story because uh, it always makes me smile and because it reminds me how fortunate I've been, like so many of you around this room, to have the pleasure of being able to know Ruth and Ken Altshuler. Bigger and more caring hearts you will absolutely never find. Words aren't sufficient to describe how honored and frankly how uh, intimidated I am to receive an award bearing their names and particularly on the heels of the Meadows Foundation receiving this award last year. But the fact that it's connected to a fund that helps people facing hearing, speech, and language disorders without regard to the zip code where they live and without regard to the size of their bank account is beautifully typical of Ruth and Ken. Trying to live up to that legacy will motivate and inspire me every single day. If you're involved in boosting the power of giving, as I've had the pleasure of being able to do at Communities Foundation of Texas and now on behalf of the 300,000 kids and their families who are served each year here at Children's Health, there is not a better place to do it than North Texas. This community is so amazingly generous and not bashful about linking arm in arm in order to make some very big things happen. This award is really shared with the talented colleagues with whom I've been able to link arm in arm over so many years. And honestly, it's shared with each of you who, in the spirit of Ruth and Ken, are here today because you know that you have the power to make tomorrow a little better than today for someone who needs it. Thank you all very, very much.